Why is the immune system making mistakes? When you bring in an allergen into your bloodstream, is there a way to get it out of your bloodstream? What is, what's happening when it's in the bloodstream? Where does it go? So it's floating around there forever and ever. No, something's gonna clear it and throw it away. Well, what's going to clear it is a very powerful organ and that name of that organ is the liver. And the liver filters all allergens out of your bloodstream. The liver filters allergens out of your bloodstream. And then it's got to get rid of it. And it does. It puts it into a digestive fluid called bile. And the bile travels down into your gastrointestinal tract. And there's a process that occurs that I'm gonna to explain to you in a huge depth, but I wanted to give it an opportunity for another little piece here for my lecture before I give you all of the, the information about this. But your bile goes through a process called the enterohepatic res recirculation. It's a big fancy word for you, recycle bile. We recycle our bile. If we recycle our bile, does that mean that the allergens that are in the bile are going back into the bloodstream? Yes. So you mean all the allergens that the liver is clearing out of your bloodstream, they are going back into the bloodstream because we recycle our bile. They are. So the ragweed that you breathed in yesterday is now cycling back through your blood and you breathe some more in today. So that means there's more ragweed allergens in your bloodstream. And then you go into a third day and you're recycling the ragweed from day one and day two, now you're exposed to the ragweed on day three and now it mounts and mounts. As this recycling goes on and on through the years, you get more and more of the allergens in your bloodstream. You know, when I was growing up, you would hear a doctor say, oh, don't worry about her allergies. She's going to grow out of them. Have you heard that? Is that really happening nowadays? No, you grow into them. The longer you're alive, all of a sudden, now you're allergic to cats, and you were never allergic to cats before, and now you're allergic to ragweed, and you never had that before. And now when the corn tassels, that you have this horrible allergy to the tasseling corn, or whatever it is, and you grew into your allergies, and they only get worse and worse and worse as you grow older, what in the world is happening? We're recycling these, these allergens, and as they mount in the bloodstream, the immune system, who was smart at the beginning, let's go back to that macrophage. He comes up to this allergen and says, hey, you don't look like you belong here. Where's your cell ID? The allergen doesn't respond. Why doesn't it respond? It's dead. It can't talk. <laughs> it's dead. By the way, if it was alive, it would be talking. All right? So it didn't say anything. And so the allergen says, you know what? You're dead. I know you're dead. Let me poke at you, yeah? You're, you're definitely not alive, all right? So go your way. I don't want to detain you. Get out of here. The liver will filter you out. The liver filters it out, puts it in a digestive fluid bile, but you recycle it. So it's back next day with some more of the allergen. And so then, over time, the immune system is still picking up all of these allergens and says, ah, there's more of these guys. And they're not supposed to be reproducing, but they are reproducing. Now, they're reproducing very slowly. You have to understand, when bacteria reproduces, it is exponential growth. I mean, it's just like whoosh. In just a few minutes, you can have billions and billions more of the bacteria produce. But the allergies, their, their numbers are coming up slowly. And there comes a point in your life. It could be six months. It could be six years. It could be 16 years that you have recycled whatever allergen it is until it's a point, you reach a point that the immune system says, I have been wrong. I have been wrong all these years. This particular foreign protein is alive. Come over here. 
T helper and to confirm my thoughts. And then the T helper confirms it, and then the T suppressor confirms it, and T suppressor turns on the immune system, and here we go. So you can have a delayed response, and your delayed response is predicated on how much you're recycling that allergen. <sighs> so what can we do? What can we do? Well, that's a long story. All right. The immune system is tricked into thinking that you have an antigen. So we're going to have to help the immune system by not allowing these allergens to recycle.